Hi everyone! So I got many requests in mails and as comments also that you guys want to see my front end. So here it is. Uh, let me show you. This is how my front end looks. Here we enter the data to be searched and here are the number of recent tweets that we want to use for the analysis. In top trending tweets, we can find according to worldwide or according to a particular location. Like according to worldwide, these things are popular today. For example, uh, 10th May, a Volcanic Vivekan Teaser Night, GLVDD and so on. Uh, let's search for according to another location. So all these are famous in this particular location. Uh, Central Park, Maximal Park, Paul Banks, Michael Parks and so on. Now let's search a particular thing like suppose Modi. I'm um, using this number of tweets so that it calculates faster. Analyze. So here it is. Since we use, since we use less number of tweets, there are less, there's a smaller word cloud. Modi is written. Governments, Sudhi Reddy, says anniversary, and so on. We see the histogram. So, this is how much positive score is there. Between 1.5 to 2, there's lesser amounts of positive score. Negative score is also more near to zero. And this is the overall scores histogram. Similarly, pie chart. So, negative, uh, sen negative sentiments is more, and positive is less. These are the 59 tweets that are used. The text, the positive, negative, and uh, score. The percentage, negative percentage. The top 20 tweeters of the particular hashtag, that is hashtag Modi. Sapna author has tweeted 12 times about Modi. And all these people have tweeted these many times. Right? Top hashtags of users so we can write a particular user for let's say Barack Obama and if we search about him this might take a while it is extracting all the tweets that Barack Obama has tweeted and then it calculates the frequency of the tweets that are used so that we can know that which hashtag Barack Obama uses the most and so on in decreasing order of frequency here. Still taking a while. Till then, let me tell you this is the shiny application. This thing is the main panel, and this is called the sidebar panel. The shiny application is made in R and it consists of two files called ui.r and server.r. Ui.r tells these elements that are in sidebar panel and main panel and server.r simply integrates the back end with the front end okay this is loaded barack obama so hashtag do your job has been tweeted a lot of times more than 60 times and so on like act on climate and all these things so let's see ui.r and server.r this is ui.r So library shiny and then all these things are there. Page with sidebar. The sidebar panel is there. This is what is the heading Twitter sentiment analysis as you can see here. All right. And then we need a text input and a slider and an analyze button. So that's what is here. Text input slider input, and analyze button. All right. Now moving on to main panel. Uh, we are using a tab set panel because I have used tabs for everything. You can use something else. So first tab tells about the top trending tweets and then there's this drop menu, which is called select input and all these things are written. Then there is the tab for word cloud, then histogram, pie chart, table, top tweeters and so on. And the HTML part is just the text that is displayed along with, for example, in word cloud, this text is displayed, that's all. So that's as simple as that. The UI.R is done. Now let's move on to the integration. 
server.r. Make sure that ui.r and server.r are in a folder. I name that folder front end and this folder should be in the working directory in which you are making uh, you, in which you were writing all the programs. So what this does is when you do library shiny and then authenticate and then run app in the folder name, then this ui.r and server.r together, they run and create this front end integrated with backend. So server.r, what is it about? Everything you already know, ensure package, is called from prepare Twitter. It just installs all this, which is not really necessary because we've already installed it. So this function is called. Then the shiny server starts. We already know how to clean the tweet. This just cleans it. The database is loaded here. New words are added, which we think can be helpful. Then there's lexical analysis. Just like we saw before, here's coded sentiment is described. And then there's a sentiment analyzer, which we had done to implement the lexical analysis. These all must seem very familiar. We've already done all of it. Then we calculate the percentage. It's very simple mathematics. Then we call all the functions that we defined above. The only new thing is reactive. What this does is it takes the input from the front end and dynamically changes the result accordingly. So reactive is very important. So input dollar search term. Let's see from where this comes. In ui.r, see, this was a working directory. I made a front end folder and ui.r and server.r is there. So ui.r. Here, I named the text input search term. So how do I access it? Input dollar search term. So input dollar search term and so on is sent to the user defined function search Twitter and so on. And uh, it's stored in tweet list and converted to uh, converted to frame. Then score dot sentiment is called. Then the sentiment analyzer that is lexical analysis is done. Then the percentage is called. And then it is rendered to the table data. And what is that? It was this particular table that was rendered. How do I know it's called table data? Because when we go there, the table tab panel, then we see that I had named it table output table data. All right. Then moving on, the word cloud, we know how it is formed. Uh, it is rendered to output dollar word using render plot. Similarly, histogram is rendered output dollar his score, his negative, his positive. Similarly, pie chart is rendered. Then top trending tweets is integrated and rendered. Then top tweeters is integrated and rendered. Sorry, uh, tweeters plot, tweeters table. What is the tweeters plot and tweeters table? This thing. This is the tweeters plot. This is the tweeters table. Then top 10 hashtags of user where we were taking Barack Obama, for example. It was a timeline was searched. And then according to the frequency of the hashed, um, of the hashtags that are used, it is in descending order of hashtag and then a ggplot is formed. All right. And then it is rendered to top hashtag plot, which was the last one here. Top hashtags of users, top hashtags plot. All right. So that is it. It's as simple as that. Please let me know in the comments below with what kind of videos you will like. Make sure to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll soon be making more videos on machine learning like recommend a system. Till then, have a good day. Thank you.